for every field I want to learn more about, and that includes negotiation, and that includes relationships, and that includes sports, or fitness, or nutrition, or games, or writing, I, I want to find what I call my plus minus equal. So a plus is a mentor, or a set of mentors. And some people don't have mentors, so it's virtual mentors. So I referenced uh, Moby Dick before, maybe Herman Melville, I admire his writing so much, I look to him as a virtual mentor on writing. Um, even though he's not alive, he's a mentor to me, he's part of my plus. For everything, and this is, I've changed careers maybe nine times, and not like changed jobs. I've gone to being from like a computer programmer to making a TV show pilot to run, running a software company to running a hedge fund and on and on and on. So, so I always have to find my plus and then I find my equal, my equals. So who can challenge me in my space? Who's equal to me and growing up with me in this space? So you look at like the art scene, you know, there wouldn't be an Andy Warhol without a Roy Lichtenstein and vice versa. There wouldn't be, you know, a, a Jack Kerouac without an Allen Ginsberg and a William S. Burroughs. Like they all grew up, actually, those three specifically grew up together right in this classroom, right? They all, Allen Ginsberg and Jack Kerouac went to Columbia. They weren't beatniks, they were Ivy League graduates. And William S. Burroughs, because he was a creepy guy, was hanging out on a college campus with these little kids. So they all grew up together and helped each other. So that, they were equals and they challenged each other. When William S. Burroughs was like drugged out of his mind in Morocco, Allen, S., Allen Ginsberg flew over on his own dime, edited these random pieces of paper on the floor of where William S. Burroughs was staying with like these five-year-old boys or whatever, and put together Naked Lunch, which became William S. Burroughs' bestseller. So they all work together. You find your scene, and that's your equals. And then your minus. This is not people who are worse than you, although that always feels good to find people worse than you, just being honest, but people you could teach. Because when you teach, that's when you remember, that's when you really remember. I never remember anything unless I can teach it. So after I do a podcast, for, for instance, like when this guy from Airbnb, I did a podcast with him, immediately after he left, within seconds, I was writing down 10 things I learned from him. And then I remember what I, what I learned from him, how he found meaning in his life, how he found a true calling in his life, what he's doing to, to what he did to make Airbnb more you know, hospitable, and so on, and on and on. That's how I, and then I wrote it up in an article so I could teach my universe of readers. So, uh, so you always want to do that, plus, minus, equal. And that's really the, the answer. I do apply that to every area of my life. And negotiation falls in that, so I apply negotiation to every area of my life.